Welcome back and today we're talking about by the grace of the gods episode 3 so like always let's just jump into it Episode 3 of By the Grace of the Gods was an episode that was really all about Ryoma and I absolutely loved it. We got to learn quite a lot about Ryoma and how powerful he really is. But it starts off with him trying to get his status board. Essentially it displays all your skills, what level they are, uh, your name, your, your age, your race, stuff like that, your typical ID. But you know, it's safe to hide your skills, right? You definitely don't want to show everybody what kind of skills you got, right? And he also got to meet with the gods and we learned quite a lot from them, right? The gods uh, told us that every 200 years or so, they get somebody from earth and bring them to this world along with the magic. They do this about every 200 years, so it's very unlikely that Ryoma will meet somebody else from Earth, but I'm not gonna count it out, right? Like with the magic and how everything works in this world, I can't imagine that somebody didn't ask for like immortality or some way to live forever. So maybe, maybe Ryoma will meet somebody from Earth. It's only a matter of time. We will have to wait and see how that turns out. But we get to see that Ryoma has a high level magic capacity, 198,000, which is absolutely crazy, I think. But Elia, uh, she has 200,000, a little bit more than Ryoma. And that's because one of her ancestors was a very, very powerful uh, hero. I mean, he was OP. The gods were even worried that if this character, I forgot his name, was to turn evil and do evil deeds, you know, it would have been troublesome. So they were definitely worried all the way up until he died. So Elia uh, is one of those ancestors. And on top of that, on her mother's side, she's also a huge tamer. She's another Eartha that came in and kind of created the whole Tamers Guild and all that stuff. So Elia is definitely a powerful, powerful mage, or she will be once she grows up into her role. We also learned that the gods are blessing the Jamil family. So that's, that's obviously awesome as well. Elia has a bright, bright future uh, ahead of her, especially now that we learned that Ryoma is going to try to help her learn how to control her magic because it seems that if you have a high magic capacity, it's hard for you to do magic because you have so much, you have to be able to control it very, very well. Now, they were trying to raise his rank in the Tamer's Guild, right? Which is kind of like weird because, again, in this world, nobody has ever mass uh, has been able to tame one of those giant slimes, but the Tamer's Guild, all they seem to care about is just how powerful the monsters you tame are. That's how you achieve higher ranks. And the fact that Ryoma has, you know, thousands of slimes and he has, you know, those big slimes that nobody has ever been able to tame, uh, you would think that the Tamer's Guild would take that into consideration and give him a higher rank. That was not the case. So they had to go back into the Adventurer's Guild where they value combat abilities, survival abilities. And Ryoma takes that test and he passes with flying colors. And you know, he was shooting those arrows like a master. I mean, even when those plates were coming out, he didn't miss a single one. 50 arrows, he hit 50 plates. Everybody was in awe with his skills. And when that, that the guy that was administering the test, the, the guild master, threw that knife, Ryoma was coming in for that kill. I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. But, you know, I will have to say we do have to talk about the animation when it comes to the combat, right? I'm not going to judge it by it because at the end of the day, this anime is not going to be about combat and fighting or anything like that, right? This anime is really more about the life of Ryoma, his adventures with the, the, the family of the Jamil family, Elia, and stuff like that, right? It's about character development and how all these characters are going to grow now that Ryoma is here. He seems to be a very good person. He cares about the world and, and trying to help people, right? But yeah, so I'm not going to say that, you know, the animation was complete trash and, you know, the combat is going to be trash because at the end of the day, I don't care about that stuff when it comes to this anime. I really want to know more about Elia and, and Ryoma, which I will say some way, somehow, they're probably going to get end up marrying each other whenever they become of age. That's my theory because, I mean, he's just so close to this family that it's probably going to happen later on if we do get a time skip for this anime, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, uh, pretty much Ryoma. Ryoma is OP in everything that he does. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait uh, to see more about this anime. Now that he started his, his you know, climb in the Adventures Guild, he started in, in rank G, which is BS because let's, let's think about it, right? If the reason why 
the they're, they're taking the adventures guild test is so he can get that uh, rank up faster uh, wouldn't he be able to do it with the tamers guild as well like start off at the bottom rank like he is in the adventures guild and just you know tame stronger monsters i'm sure he wouldn't have any problem going to one of the most biggest strongest monsters in this world and taming it without no problem i'm sure ryoma will be able to do it that's just how op he is but it's all right you know he's going around cleaning stuff and that's when we got to meet uh, uh mia so i don't know exactly what that character is going to do for the story she seems in in a lot of distress her house you can just see everything just the color around the whole anime changed because of the odor it was very bad in there to where ryoma did not think he'll be able to complete this job I'm sure he is. I'm sure he'll figure something out. But yeah, I cannot wait to find out more where Ryoma's adventure is going to take him uh, and how he grows in the Adventure and Tamers Guild and his relationship with the with the Jamil family. I'm sure that's going to be amazing as well. I love the episode. It was okay. It wasn't nothing uh, huge. But I do like the fact that we got to see just how skillful Ryoma is with everything that he does. I cannot wait to see how uh, Mija is going to change the story dynamic, right? Because Mija seems to be like that chaotic character, the one that will bring trouble to the whole group. And I'm sure she might be a main, uh, I don't know if she's going to be like one of the main characters later on, but she has a name. She, she seems very important to the story right now. Maybe once Ryoma gets done cleaning her house, she's just going to completely fall in love with him or something like that. Who knows at this point? But I cannot wait for the next episode. So like always, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.